Hiya, Renee Jones here from Pack Your Own Bag. Thanksgiving is my favorite holiday of the year, but it can be a nutritional minefield. There's so much food, so many things we love, and sometimes pressure to eat more than is comfortable. How do you manage even before someone suggests you're either eating too much or not eating enough? How do you manage yourself when it seems like the table is filled with your favorites? First, decide whether you're going to feast, moderate, or try to stay near or on your plan. And decide before you go and stick to your decision. So here are my seven strategies for navigating the holiday table. First, do a reconnaissance round of the food that's available. Check out the table or buffet to see what's there before putting anything on your plate. Then you can decide in advance what you truly want, what makes the holiday for you. Two, eat only what you like and chew like you mean it. If you love this food, then take the time to enjoy it, savoring the flavors. And you know what I say, if you're going to swallow it whole, you may as well be eating celery because you probably won't notice the difference. Saves you calories. Three, if you slow down enough to enjoy it, then evaluate the flavor. Do you still love it? Or is it just a food you've always had? The memory of how it tastes may actually be better than the reality. Four, there will be foods there that are not on your plan. Absolutely. So choose for yourself. Can you taste them without creating a binge? And if not, you may be wise to set up some safeguards for yourself. But if yes, then have it. But don't take any home with you. It's one day and there's no beating up of self allowed. Five, focus on conversations and interactions. The holidays truly are not just about food. I know, shocking, right? They're about spending time with the people who mean something to you. The food is just the vehicle to drive the opportunity. So focus on what's important. Six, gratitude is a great practice. If you eat for comfort or stress relief, then another way to soothe ourselves is by focusing on all those people, situations, experiences for which we are grateful. It alters our perspective, which usually shifts our stress and fills our need for comfort. See how that works? Seven, accountability and support. Know what you need and create a structure of support. Reaching physical and emotional health goals do not happen without making some changes. What do you need in order to make those choices, those changes, and make them stick? Consider what strategy or strategies will work best for you. And think about the last time you were in a tempting situation. How might you have applied these? And what difference would it have made for you? How might it make a difference for you at the next holiday or party? Into next year? In three years? How can you utilize these for your best? If you need a little help, don't hesitate to contact me. All the best.